Local Economic Development Program to move into high gear, buildings to be constructed for three parish councils, and steps being taken to reduce fires at Riverton City Landfill. Those are just some of the plans by the Ministry of Local Government and Community Development in the 2014-2015 financial year. The Ministry is creating opportunities for growth and development. In this financial year, the Ministry of Local Government and Community Development will continue to roll out aspects of its local economic development program to create employment and build communities. Six of 11 projects have already been approved by the Caribbean Local Economic Development Program. The projects, which cost $38 million, include the Riverton Recycle Project, the Cesar Charlton Park Development, the Spanish Town Tourism Project, the Beeston Spring Organic Training and Agro-Processing, and New Roads Rest Stop Project. Collectively, these will reduce the rural to urban migration phenomenon, assist in environmental hazard reduction, and create jobs within the communities from which the positive multiplier effects require no great debate. In the 2014-2015 financial year, the local authorities will also implement a number of measures to speed up the approval process for building permits. These include building the capacity of local authorities, establishing help desks to provide assistance for applicants, monitoring the applications process, and improving application forms. In the last fiscal year, 86.5% of the over 5,000 applications received were approved. Of that total, almost 81% were approved within 90 days. In fact, there were 1,044 applications being processed by the local authorities. Only 287 of these, with an estimated investment value of $4 billion, exceeded the 90-day approval target. The building bill, which will be submitted to Cabinet soon, will also help to speed up the building approval process, and all local authorities will be fully equipped to use the application management and data automation system by the end of the financial year. That way, clients will be able to track the status of their building applications online. At least three buildings will be constructed in this financial year for parish councils across the island. $90 million has been earmarked from the Equalization Fund to construct offices for parish councils in St. Thomas and Westmoreland and the Portmore Municipal Council. On the issue of roads, plans are underway to use the access road to the Riverton City Landfill as a pilot project for concrete roads. The rehabilitation project, which will be managed by the United Nations Office for Project Services, will, among other things, improve access to the landfill and reduce the operating costs for garbage trucks. This will be done through a donation of $200 million from the Mesoamerican Fund operated by the Mexican government. We intend to do a further 20 kilometers of concrete roads after the completion of the river and pilot. A number of markets will also be renovated to ensure the environment is conducive to vendors and customers. The local government ministry will also continue to ensure property tax compliance to build on the gains of the last fiscal year. $5.83 billion was collected, 80% of the $7.26 billion target. The Portmore Municipal Council surpassed its target. As an incentive, Mr. Speaker, for their success in collection of property taxes, the council was awarded $5 million to be used in the development and improvement of a community project. Street lights are also a priority for the government. To minimize the current bill, existing street lights will be replaced with efficient LED lights, saving the government about $1 billion annually. A request for proposal will be issued in short order, and the LED lights should be purchased by March 2014. Recommendations for a special tariff on street lights have also been submitted to the Office of Utilities Regulations. The government will also strengthen its solid waste management systems in the 2014-2015 financial year. 
As it relates to the Riverton City landfill, soil will be used to cover the area properly in a bid to reduce fires. Funding will come from the environmental levy. Requests for proposals will also be issued to provide waste to energy solutions. Finally, we are in the process of identifying an alternate site to Riverton, where a modern landfill will be established. Funds have also been identified to establish a transfer station in western Jamaica. The site has been secured. The NSWMA has obtained a non-objection from NEPA with the requisite conditionalities. The procurement arrangements are being put in place and ground will be broken as soon as it is complete. Two upcoming pieces of legislation will strengthen the solid waste management system and penalize individuals who continue the improper disposal of garbage. Individuals will also be encouraged to practice the three R's, reduce, reuse and recycle to eliminate waste and protect the environment. The administration will also mitigate the impact of natural disasters on communities by fixing drains, building the capacity of community emergency response teams and conducting risk assessments. The Disaster Risk Management Bill has also been submitted to Cabinet for approval. The Ministry of Local Government and Community Development, working to develop prosperous communities throughout Jamaica.